The Nazca Lines are a series of over 10,000 geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. These lines, geometric shapes, and images of animals and plants were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE and remain one of the world's great unsolved mysteries. Despite their age, the lines have been well preserved due to the dry climate of the Nazca Desert and continue to intrigue researchers, archaeologists, and tourists alike. Although their exact purpose remains unknown, theories have ranged from an ancient astronomical calendar to proof of alien involvement. The Nazca Lines were created by the Nazca culture in southern Peru between 500 BCE and 500 CE. This ancient civilization lived in the area around the modern-day town of Nazca, located in the Nazca Desert. The Nazca Lines are vast in scale, covering an area of around 50 square miles, and consist of over 10,000 individual lines, shapes, and images that were created by removing the dark-colored rock surface of the Nazca Plateau and revealing the lighter-colored earth underneath. The lines range from simple straight lines to complex geometric shapes, as well as depictions of animals, plants, and other objects. Some of the lines run straight for miles, while others form intricate designs and figures. The largest figures, such as the hummingbird, can span over 1,200 feet in length. The Nazca lines are located in a particularly arid area of southern Peru, where the dry climate has helped to preserve the lines for over 2,000 years. Despite their preservation, the exact purpose of the Nazca lines remains a mystery, with theories ranging from astronomical alignments to religious or cultural rituals to irrigation systems. Nevertheless, the Nazca lines continue to be a source of fascination and wonder, attracting thousands of tourists and researchers each year to this remarkable site in southern Peru. One of the most popular theories about the Nazca lines is that they served as an astronomical calendar or alignment system. According to this theory, the lines were positioned to mark the movements of the sun, moon, and stars, allowing the Nazca people to track the seasons and make predictions about planting and harvesting. There is evidence that the Nazca lines were aligned with cardinal points, such as the solstices and equinoxes. Some lines are positioned to point directly towards the sunrise or sunset on specific days, while others are aligned with the rising and setting positions of particular stars. Additionally, some of the figures, such as the Nazca spider, seem to align with the position of the constellation Orion in the night sky. The precision of the Nazca line's astronomical alignments is remarkable, with some lines deviating by only a few degrees from true astronomical points. Furthermore, some lines are over 30 miles long, suggesting a high level of accuracy and skill in their creation. Another popular theory about the Nazca lines is that they were used for religious or cultural rituals. According to this theory, the lines and figures may have been used as pathways for spiritual pilgrimages or as sites for ceremonies and offerings to the gods. Some indigenous people of the Nazca region have maintained traditional beliefs and practices that connect the lines with their religious beliefs. For example, local legends describe the lines as sacred pathways used by the gods to travel to and from the earth. In these legends, the figures are said to represent animals and objects important in Nazca religious beliefs, such as the Nazca monkey, which is thought to symbolize fertility and agriculture. There is evidence to support this theory, as some of the figures are located near sources of water, which was a precious and sacred resource in the arid Nazca desert. Additionally, some of the figures, such as the Nazca condor, are positioned near burial sites, suggesting a connection to death and the afterlife. Another theory about the Nazca lines is that they served as an irrigation system. According to this theory, the lines and figures may have been used to channel water from the nearby mountains to the crops and fields, allowing the Nazca people to cultivate the otherwise arid desert landscape. There is some evidence to support this theory, as many of the lines run parallel to dry riverbeds, known as quebradas, and some of the figures are located near sources of water. Additionally, the Nazca region is known for its ancient systems of canals and aqueducts, suggesting a long history of water management and irrigation. While the exact purpose of the Nazca lines remains a mystery, the idea that they served as an irrigation system is supported by local legends and traditions. 
For example, some indigenous people of the Nazca region believe that the lines were created as a form of irrigation to bring water to the crops and fields, thus ensuring the survival of their civilization in a harsh desert environment. Perhaps the most intriguing theory about the Nazca lines is that they were created with the involvement or guidance of extraterrestrial beings. This theory, popularized by Swiss author Eric von Daniken in his 1968 book Chariots of the Gods, suggests that ancient civilizations like the Nazca were visited and influenced by advanced aliens from other planets. According to von Daniken, the Nazca lines are examples of landing strips or signals created by the aliens to make contact with future spacecraft. He argues that the straight lines and geometric shapes of the Nazca figures are evidence of advanced technology and engineering that could not have been achieved by the Nazca people without outside help. For example, some believe that the figure of the hummingbird may represent a landing strip for extraterrestrial spacecraft, while the spider figure may symbolize the extraterrestrial beings themselves. The monkey figure is also thought to have been created with extraterrestrial involvement, as some argue that its appearance and location in the Nazca Desert suggest that it served as a marker or symbol for the aliens. The Nazca lines continue to be one of the world's most intriguing ancient artifacts, with their purpose and creation still shrouded in mystery. Despite various theories ranging from astronomical alignments to extraterrestrial involvement, the true meaning behind the lines remains elusive. The Nazca lines continue to challenge our understanding of ancient civilizations and the past.